Hey guys, and welcome back to Little Radio. My name is Light, and today we're going to be continuing the robot. Now, if you have watched this video uh, in constant from the last one, um, then I not need to remind you about the memberships. Yes, the memberships. Now, we have some memberships, which has some amazing perks. I believe if you look down into uh, the memberships that you can actually look at the perks, but two of them have some amazing features, meaning, if you pay for 40 bucks, I'll create a robot for you, and don't worry, I won't be crappy on it. I'll make sure that it's worth the 40 bucks. And I will also be, um, for 100 bucks, I'll make you a uh, plush bot and also a uh, robot. So it'll be worth it. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to be some crappy build. Uh, but the plush bots will be designed based on your own avatar. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also have merch. Uh, just fast forward on that. Okay then, now that you are familiar with the merch, let's get into this video. So, from the last video, we made this beautiful avatar. Uh, so now I'll be showing you how to make the animation for it. Now, um, this video, after this video ends, we will have two different sections. In the ending, Oh my god, it's so weird to orient myself with this camera. Uh, so, one of them will be for a PC version, and the other one will be a mobile version. Please make sure you are going into the category that you are in. Uh, so, yeah. After this video, we will officially be splitting. Uh, so, yeah. What you are going to be doing first is you are going to copy each limb... Uh, just for this one, because it's leaned, just also clone this one and then just delete it afterwards. But you are going to move it 10.3 out, so just like that. And then just delete the torso, delete this one. Uh, for these ones, you can literally just move it out. So I lagged out. Give me a second while I be back. Yo, bros. So I made it back from hell. Yay. So, uh, once you move these limbs out, you're just going to do the same over here. You're going to go to 10.3. Uh, and uh, then just the leg. The leg isn't angled at all, so it should be fine. Um... Oh, wait, no, 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 I lied. Okay, uh, so take the bottom legs. And for the bottom legs, you are going to go to 6.3. Make sure you do that, because if you don't, we're going to have problems, and I don't want to have problems. Okay? Thank you. So, for this beautiful animation, what we are going to be doing is taking our plastic going to 0 0.2 and what you're going to be doing is going just into the leg and just making a small uh center point just like this now you can do this i don't mind it okay there we go so now it's kind of equal Alrighty, and what you also want to do is kind of just have one in the center. Just like that. And now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking a hinge, placing it just like that. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Uh, 
Maybe bring that out a little more. Okay, there we go. Placing the hinge like this. And then what I want you to do is go to 0 0.5 and just kind of put that hinge in. Just like that. And then you can delete that little pole. Uh, just like that. Okay, so after that, what you're going to be doing is you're going to place a piston. And then I want you to use the screwdriver tool to... Oh, you can't see. Hey. Uh, to create the piston length to 6 point. God damn it. Uh, you're going to be doing this and going to 6.3 for the piston length. Okay, let me move myself back. Yay. Ooh. Once you uh, put it to 6.3, you're going to extend those pistons. And then just these little poles that you put somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, just br extend them outward to the piston. Just like that. Alrighty, and now for the arms. What we are going to be doing is placing one like that. Just doing this. And then bring that down like that. What you want to do is create the center point. And the center point can be however you like. However, I would recommend using these. Um, this, because, I mean, I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, design it however you like. And what we're going to be doing is a little bit different. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring it out. Just like that, just past the piston. Once the piston passed, what you're going to do is you're going to take a hinge and you're just going to place it like that. This is just to prevent um, like it actually touching with the hinge. So, yeah. Okay, after that, what you're going to do is you're going to do this. Actually, maybe... Okay, maybe if you can. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, so uh, I lied. Uh, just, here we go. If you want to delete that, you can, but you could also just move it. So just bring it to where it's a little stub like that. And then just place a hinge. Then place the pistons. And now, the pistons, uh, these arms are just the correct amount of length. So what you're also going to do is you're going to take this little thing and you're going to move it out like that. You're going to do the same. Uh, you're duplicating it, not just moving it there. Uh, but yeah, once you do that, just extend the pistons like that. Alrighty. Just kind of make it look nicer. And okay. So now once we reach this point, we are going to save it. Just in case, we're going to uncollision everything. And then we're going to save it again. Let's load it. And then just move myself back down again. Select everything. And uh, I want you to select everything except the torso and just drop that. Make sure nothing is like falling down or anything. And then just, I guess... Uh, Make these collision and just have fun. Okay, wait. What? Did did I just what? Wait, you you're trying to tell? Oh my god! What was that? Like the foot just kind of disappeared. Okay, so it does work. Okay, but yeah. Actually, I kind of like it without it. Okay, but uh, it's your choice to design this however you like. So what we're going to be doing now is starting on the mechanics. 
So for the me- oh my god, I just really and that's fine. Okay, so for the mechanics, you me- mechanics mechanics. I don't know. Uh, so for the mechanics, you are going to after placing blocks on this part, what you're going to do is go to zero point two. It was already on it, but whatever, and j- just bring it like that. And then what you're going to be doing is going to 0.5 and just dropping them down like that. What if I told you I lagged out again? Wait, no, wait. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. Yay. I didn't lag out. Woohoo. It's just really hard to get this block. I'm going to just do this. Okay. Now just move uh, 10 down. Actually, uh, technically 1 down. So just make a long pull like this. And then you're going to be doing the same over here. So I guess an easier way to go about doing it is go to 0 0.4. Bring it out. Bring it out. Go to 0 0.2. And then just shrink it down to there. And then... Uh, go to one and bring it out like that. I just realized my I did the same exact mistake. <laughs> it's not too hard to uh, fix though, so it's fine. And then once you're done with all of that, you are going to look for a hinge and then just place it just like that. I'm going to make these invisible so it's easier for you all. Oh, dang. My neck hurts. Okay, and then just save that, load it, and okay. Now, the thing, the cool thing is about this, these right here are technically your actual arms. These, you can design however you want. And I mean however you want. Um, I guess just not different sizes. I will show you. I will also be doing a tutorial on different sizes, uh, so don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, just uh, unanchor everything except the torso. Oh, and turn off collision. Uh, and okay, nothing seems to be falling down, so I think that's good. Uh, so load it in, and um, I'm gonna try to keep each tutorial 15 minutes. Uh, so. I'm going to just end it off, actually. Um, okay, so we're going to be doing a part two for this, and then we're going to move on to the transition between mobile and PC. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, just click for the next video. Bye.